Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to sell. So we're gonna go to text lending. No, I'm sorry, not text lending. I don't know why, but they have it at like $3 for the text lending. I don't know why. Okay, so for us to sell, what we need to do to go to is wallet. We're only gonna do 167. Let's click on the down arrow, we'll do transfer. We're gonna move over 100, 167. That zero stays there. So you're attempting to move over 167. That is correct. See that now have 1700. Now what we're gonna do, someone told me that I'm selling too many at one time. Okay, so let's do sell, oops, sell. Uh, we're gonna do all. And we're gonna work our way down. So I wanna sell all of these at this price. What's the last price? The last price was two two. See that it keeps on saying two two even though I'm pretty sure it's sold. It's not still selling at the exact same price. Okay, so I can't sell that many. So we're gonna just sell maybe a hundred. All right, so we're gonna work our way down. Uh, we'll do the last price that it's sold for. Okay, please ensure more than eight decimal points. Okay, so we'll do 100. And then we'll do 2-2 two, two again. Uh, I think I added one extra zero. Okay, so let's make sure we have this right. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, you're selling significantly large comparing to the current market. We need to prevent. Okay, so I can't sell a hundred. Let's try the sixty-seven. We'll delete these two digits. We'll again, put in two two. Okay. Let's try six. Look at that. It went down. Order created successful. Okay. So I can do six. Let's try 11. Oops. Can't sell 11. So we're going to try. Uh, 10. So we know you can sell six. Can't sell 11. So we're going to try seven. Let's see. I have one, six, one. Nope. Can't sell seven. I'll do six again. I wonder if it'll only let me do it because I have one order in. Do two. Now it says please try again. So my orders here pending. I have six. Let's try four. I think the max that I could probably do is four. That'd be ten total. All right, so I can sell 10 at a time. Wow, that really slows down the market. I'll tell you that damn much. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not bad. Let's see, let's see. So last trades, these are the live orders. So I'm asking for 522. Two. Someone else is asking for 515. So what if I do, let's say seven at this asking price. Nope, can't do that. And I don't want the price to, you know, drop. Let's press cancel on this. Let's cancel on this one. So we know we can sell 10 and no more. 
So it didn't it didn't give me my 10 back. So I'm, I'm just refreshing to get my 10 back. Okay. So, okay, got my 10 back. So we'll do 10 at the current price. Oh. So look, it's not letting me go lower than that. I think they are manipulating the price. They're not letting any, oops. They're not letting anyone sell lower than this number. No. That's like 240 bucks, $250. So that's the lowest they'll allow someone to sell. Uh, if they if they complete that order, I will try to see if it'll let me buy. Um, I'm pretty sure it won't let me do anything with that number. So I can sell 10 at a time, which sucks. You can only sell 10 at a time. All right. I just wanted to test out the theory. Someone said you can do one at a time, but you can't use. See, if oh, I just wanted to show. Okay, let me show you guys how this works, right? So this is the live buy. So this is the highest bid that someone is willing to pay for this coin. And this is the lowest someone is allowed to sell it or someone is willing to sell it. And as you guys can see here, 18,000 people are trying to sell it at the lowest possible price. 500, 93, 40, 30 are selling it at a little slightly higher price. As you can see, not much higher, just slightly higher. The rest of these people are willing to pay this much, slightly lower, even lower, even lower than that, even lower than that, almost damn near half of what this person is willing to pay up here is what this one's willing to pay down here. So this goes to show you like what people are willing to pay for this coin. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I clicked on I clicked on this. So if someone is, let's see, I clicked on that. He's looking to buy only one. Are you kidding me? This guy wants to buy one. This person wants to buy 38 at that price. This person is looking to buy 11. He's looking to buy 18. This person down here, 173. So let's see. Click on this guy. See that? That is the market price. That is what when someone's willing to pay and it won't let me sell it to that person. So as you guys see, look, and even lower, more people are looking to sell, even buy lower. Uh, this person looking to buy 1000 at that price. So this is going to happen. Once this coin releases, it's going to drop like crazy. People are just not willing to pay this high steep price for it, $24.90. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll let you guys know by changing the picture if I was able to sell. Um, other than that, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to sell this token. Uh, and I'll just keep you guys updated tomorrow. Okay, so let's look at uh this clock right so um so you guys just saw me attempt to sell and you guys see that you can sell no more than 10 okay and now today's date is the 27th of december uh it's 6 50 uh my time and i decided to take a look so if we go here uh there are 140 different places in the world right now that it is december 27th and Thursday, which is technically tomorrow for me, there's only three places that are actually entering Thursday. OK, so these are the three places right here. Um, uh, I think it was like mid. It was, one of these places said midnight. I think it's up here at the top. Uh, nope, it is down here, right? Thursday. No, it's not on here. For some reason, it's not on this little list. Well, in any event, there are some places that it is still it is becoming Thursday and um, and, and and so forth and so on. So. I just wanted to bring that up because what we're going to do is we're going to try to lend. Uh, the reason why we're going to try to lend is because if you go to text lending, it says TEX exchange rate, uh, which is I'm assuming is what EX stands for, uh, or market price, depending on which is higher, will apply to your first lending contract. OK, so it says during the 27th and 31st uh, this of December 2017. So we're going to attempt to do a lending, uh, to, to, per, to do lending. Okay. So the reason why is because, uh, they're saying 
one text token will be thirty dollars. So if one text token is thirty dollars and I lend, um, what is it? Uh, say a thousand. I'm not gonna do a thousand. I'll probably do uh, about say six hundred. Um, we'll just do the math on that. So go into the calculator. We have uh, six hundred, and we multiply that times. Actually, I'll do seven hundred. So seven hundred. Oops. Ah, seven hundred times thirty equals twenty one thousand dollars. OK, so that's what they're, that's what I'm expecting to get um, from this lending program. Sorry. OK, so but if you guys notice something as well, look at oh, how I much take that twenty one thousand and I multiply that times point zero five percent. I'll be making about ten dollars a day. Take that multiply it times thirty dollars, 30 days a month. I'll be making about three hundred dollars a month. Now, remember, they were supposed to give 45 up to 45 percent. So that usually means that you're going to get about uh, 25 to 30 to 45 percent or 25 to 40, somewhere between there. So technically what I was supposed to be getting, let's just say twenty one thousand and we multiply that times one percent. I should be getting around this number per day, but I'm not going to get that in this number per month. But I don't see that happening. And and if they last the entire 30 days, that's awesome. Um, I'm sorry, not 30 days. If they last the entire time of the contract, that's awesome. Then I'll get that $20,000 back. But you never know. Uh, we won't really know until the time comes. So what we're going to do is we're going to do lend uh, tokens, right? Lend coin. So we're going to click on it and see what it actually does because I don't know what it does. Okay. So it pulls up. And it says available balance is 1700. I'm not going to do all of them, but we have to find out how to manipulate the number. Uh, we'll do close on that one. OK, so let's go back. And then we'll go into wallet. And then what we'll do is we'll move over all but the 700 that I talked about. So we'll move over a thousand. And then we'll claim that we're not robots. Now we'll go into lending. So now we have 700 to lend. We will lend the token. We will invest all. It doesn't give us. Doesn't give us that. Uh, I clicked on invest all. Uh, pay with wallet does not prompt. Again, I clicked on invest all. Nothing happens. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing happens. I don't is there's no there's no highlight like this this wallet does not highlight. You see that? Pay with wallet. Doesn't highlight. Then we have here in the middle, due to the high demand of the text lending, we need to limit our current lending quota in order to better distribute the investment. The new quota release will be announced soon. So from what I can tell here is that they're trying to control how many people and how and how things are operated uh, with this type of control. Um, remember BitBase. BitBase token right now is worth nothing. It's worth less than a penny. And I own like thousands of BitBase because I invested a lot of money thinking that because they came out to the exchange early, they were going to be a really good token. But let's just look at this. They're not letting us to, to buy. They're not allowing us to sell. And they're not allowing us to lend. So it's almost like they're trying to control everything rather than just giving us the control. Let the consensus decide what the price will be. You know, it happened with Bitcoin. It happened with everyone else. Everyone goes up. Everyone goes down. If you look at Daver or Devor, whatever you want to call it, if you look at their coin, they did the exact same thing. They um they came out, they went up to fifty four dollars in the first day, dropped down to six, and now they're back up to about thirty. Uh they did everything they promised, they didn't hold anything back, they didn't control what exchanges they were on, they went right onto coin exchange, they had their own internal exchange, they didn't care about the lending, they didn't care about any of that stuff. This token right here is is starting to become that that type of token. It's starting to become where the control is starting to get in the way of everyone so um if you're in the telegram group chat you're starting to notice that more and more people are starting to get more frustrated with the program so 
if there's something they can do, they need to do it as soon as possible because it's starting to get annoying. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you're in it, how many do you have? Or, you know, join us in Telegram. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely share if you want, but don't share because I am, I am opposed to sharing. I think that people should not share my videos and they should share their own. Um, but again, let me know what you think. As of right now, I can tell you that this is not allowing you to do anything at all. You can't sell. It's still controlling how many you can sell. Um, it doesn't matter. You can buy at the high price. It will let you buy at this price, but that's about it. And as you guys can see, the price keeps going up because there are people are, are saying, you know what, let's just try to buy at the high price. But pretty soon you'll notice that this number on the left, the bid number, will drop really, really low because people are tired of waiting and no one's going to want to buy if they can't buy at what they want to buy it for. So that's about it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks.